girls, welcome to the Tamworth Assembly Rooms for Sleeping Beauty. Are you excited? Oh, no, you're not. Oh, no, you're not. Now, we need your help. Whenever you see one of our heroes, you need to give them a big cheer like this. I said, like this. And when you see our evil baddie Carabos, you need to boo him like this. That's it, get your boos out of the way nice and early. Now, sit back, relax, grab your sweets and grab your loved ones. Our Sleeping Beauty is about to begin. My word, they said you was going to be loud, but they didn't tell me you was going to be ugly. It's like an audition for an ugly contest. And I must say, some of you look like professionals. Shut up. I'm really handsome, I am. Anyway, my name is Carabas. I have been shunned by my family, away from the throne which is rightfully mine. Oh, yes it is! Oh, yes it is! It is, it's in the script, Act 2, page 21, there. Yeah. Anyway, the king has a baby daughter, the Princess Rose who's a thorn in my side. But I'll get her uprooted, and he'll have an early demise too. And then I will take my seat on the throne, which is rightfully mine. Don't worry, boys and girls, I'm here to save the day. The name's Fairy Flora, and I'll have the final say. <laughs> Fairy Flora? My word, a fairy named after some margarine. <laughs> I wonder, are you spreadable? I'll ignore your petty insults as you're not here to stay. I'm sure the boys and girls will soon send you on your way. What? This ugly lot? I'm going to turn them into something so hideous they wouldn't even get into Nuneaton. <laughs> I really do find your nastiness a mystery, for soon you and your mean words will be history. History. Yes, I can see it all now, boys and girls. I'll be known as the greatest king that ever sat on the throne. And as for you, Marge, if you get in my way, I'll pull out each wing very slowly and insert them up your nostrils. <laughs> you should stay away from Princess Rose. It will never end well for you. You know how it goes. Oh, she's such an airy fairy. As I said, you'd be advised to keep out of my way. And that goes for you, ugly lot, as well. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, what a vile, horrid man threatening to tear my wings apart. But we'll ignore him anyway, as it's time for our tale to start. Our story starts 18 years ago, and it's around that time the time must show. So join with me as we travel back in time to start our fairy tale time with pantomime. <laughs> It all began with the king and queen of our royal town, who wanted a child to take over the crown. They had no one to be the heir of the throne, and they were so scared of growing old alone. 
but they didn't ask for sorrow and they didn't ask for pity as there was lots of joy to be found in their pantomime city. One short day in our pantomime city One short day in our pantomime city One short day in our pantomime city One short day full of so much to do Every way that you look in the city There's something exquisite you'll want to visit Before we are through There are magic carpets that can fly Seven dwarfs and magic bells Giants and potions A hundred strong There are wonders like I've never seen It's all brown and it's all green Finally found a place where we belong parents would breathe a sigh of relief. newborn, but soon the parents would start to yawn. Come, dear, we must do something about that awful crying. I can't, dear. I've tried everything. Nothing seems to do the trick. Uh, can't we just slip a little bit of night nurse into her milk? Harold! Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I haven't missed out on this much sleep since waiting for Prince Harry's book to be released. <laughs> what are we going to do? It was then the king had an idea in his head, an idea that meant he could finally get to bed. He had a plan to end this crying curse, a plan that just needed a loving, doting nurse. May I suggest, your majesty, that maybe somebody else look after the child? Great idea, like a nanny. A nanny? Yes! Find me the best nanny around. Well, unfortunately, your majesties, I've scoured all of Corporation Street already, and there are no nannies available. Oh. Did somebody say nanny? Nancy, at your service. How may I be of assistance? Uh, well, it's a, it's a big ass. Well, I am a big girl. He shouldn't have been looking. <laughs> uh, but, but we do pay well. Now oh. that they do. Oh, good. I'll do anything for money. Just ask them. <laughs> now, we're not just looking for a nanny. Um, I would quite like someone for the princess to grow up with. Someone to be her best friend. You know, a companion to teach her right from wrong. Perfect. I've got just the thing. I've just had a one-month-old baby of my own, a bouncing baby boy named Marvin. Would you like to meet him? 
Come along, Marvin, 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 Marvin. Is that a baby? Yes, it's my one month old baby, little Marvin. Isn't he angelical? It's. 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 It's hideous, is what it is. It, it looks like a scene from the 1st of January at Slimming World. He is rather big for a newborn. Yes, yes, he is an ugly one, I will admit. Ah, good. They can be best friends. In fact, give me that baby. You've got a problem with crying, have you? Yes. I'll sort it out, no problem. Come here. Ah. Give me the baby. Come on, dear, let's give it to the next. I'll sort the baby out. I'm an expert. Come here. I've got a brand new toy from Pets at Home. Ah, little baby. Oh, you like this? You like the dog toy, do you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes. She, she stopped. The crying stopped. No, uh, darling, pass it back to me. That's a dog toy. Uh, Come on. I try my best. So what? Should we give her back to the nurse? Yes. Hand the baby back. Ah, ah yes. Ah, yes, you like this. Ah, it works, it works. Ah, and she's so lovely as well. She looks a bit like a sleeping beauty. Thanks. Uh, she takes after my wife's side of the family. Come, dear, let's take some rest. I'm sure our princess will be just fine with her new nanny. Uh, but your highnessnessness. I have not yet asked her name. Uh, we named her after my wife's favourite flower. Self-raising. <laughs> uh, no, it's, uh, it's Princess Rose. Go away. <laughs> well, in that case, you are hired. You seem credible enough. I'm not too sure about this one, though. Yes, he is a big boy. <laughs> But he'll be all right. They'll grow up to be best friends. Well, I guess we're settled then. Should we go get some rest, darling? Yes, but first you need to do some things before the christening, don't you? Of don't course. They? We've got a big, long list of people that need inviting. You can't miss anybody. Do you understand? Oh, yes. I I'm happy to help your highnessness. Very good. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, uh, boys and girls, isn't it exciting? Look at these two babies. They're both meant to be one month old. Yes. <laughs> One's a tatty old thing I found at the back of the theatre in the gutter. And the other's this ornate doll. <laughs> oh, I mean, Princess Rose. What is that noise? Get off. Go back to drama school. Go away. Building your part. Ah, Marvin. Oh, somebody needs to change Marvin. Oh, he stinks. <laughs> somebody change Marvin. Preferably for another actor. Bye bye. <laughs> See you later. Oh, boys and girls, it's cute, isn't it? I'm back. New name, new scenery, same bang average delivery. Yes, it's me, Nurse Nancy, back by public transport. Yes, and I've got a very important job this year. Yes, I have. I've got to look after the lovely Princess Rose, and I've got the secret recipe. My dog toy from Pets at Home. Yes, but. I need somebody to look after it for me for the show. I need somebody strong, somebody handsome, somebody on the front row. Ah, I need you. <laughs> yes, you. Would you like to look after it? There you go. Would you like to grab that? Thank you. Hold that for me, would you, nice and tight? What's your name? Jenny. Oh, would you hold that? Jenny, uh, every time I come on, I'm going to shout, Hello, Jenny, and I need you to squeeze it really hard for me. And then I'm going to say to everybody else, Oh, here I am, and they're all going to shout back, oh, here she is. Can we do that? Yeah. Jenny, uh, ready? I'm going to practice with you. Ready, Jenny? Hello, Jenny. Oh, here I am. Yeah. Oh, that was excellent. Thank you so much. All right, I, I'm going to get off. I'll see you later, boys and girls. Marvin. Ma Marvin. Ma Marvin. Marvin. Ma Somebody hold the baby. Thank you. <laughs> She'll be all right by tomorrow. Am 
I dressed up like a baby this year. <laughs> Hiya. Oh, come on, you be like that. Hello, everybody. Oh, wow, it's exciting, isn't it? Look, this year, I'm able to put my acting chops to the test. You see, I'm currently playing a one-month-old baby. <laughs> woo yeah, thank you, thank you. And in about 21 years' time, I will be falling in love with Princess Rose. I know, I think it happens in the next scene. <laughs> Very excited about that. I just wanted someone in the first scene. So here I am, one month old baby in this brand new palace. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's very nice. See, we've actually, we've just moved from Nuneaton. Yeah, Nuneaton, what a sheer pleasure it was <laughs> to move out. It was lovely. Yeah, lovely to move out. But it's very exciting in Tamworth. I hear that Tamworth is getting a new zoo. Yeah, yeah, they're putting a fence around Stony Delph. <laughs> Great. Throw a tin of beans in. Don't miss it. It'd be marvellous. Yeah. But you know, me and my mum, we are quite poor. Aww. Oh, it's sadder than that. Aww. Yeah, I've always told my mum, listen mum, you should never be embarrassed of your mistakes. You need to learn to embrace your mistakes. And that's when she hugs me. <laughs> yeah, it's quite sad. And I don't have many new friends in this palace. Will you be my new friends? Yeah. Oh, I said, will you be my new friends? Yeah. Fantastic. So, friends play games. So, we're going to play a game. I'm going to start singing a song. And I'd like all of you to carry on with the lyrics. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, how about one you've just heard? Hey, hey, baby. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, how about a bit of, uh, let's go for a bit of Disney. We don't talk about Bruno. Brilliant, that's one for the kids. Uh, how about, so no one told me life was gonna be this way. Very well done. Who sings this? Knowing me, knowing you. Aww. No, it's Abba. But we'll, we'll go with Aha. Uh -huh. um, final one. Who let the dogs out? Right, this side, let's try a bit of competition. Who let the dogs out? This side, who let the dogs out? This side, who let the cats out? Who let the sheep out? Brilliant. Who let the cows out? <laughs> who let the giraffes out? Don't pretend you know what a giraffe sounds like. You'll only embarrass yourself. <laughs> You lot are weird, but I think we'll get on just great. Oh. Hello, Jenny. Oh, here I am. Oh, thank you. Where are you from, Jenny? Sorry? No, I heard. I was just sorry. <laughs> Tamworth. What a shame. Oh. Hello, Marvin. Hiya, Mum. Have you met all my friends? Yeah, they've met my friends. We're good friends now, aren't we? Ah, oh, good. Are my friends here from Two Rivers? Where's my friends from Community Together CIC? <laughs> they're coming. They must be coming to the evening show. Yeah. <laughs> now, Marvin, it's so exciting now that we have this new job. I am so rich, so rich, I could maybe afford to rent a house in my Oak. Oh, Mum, does this mean we can put the radiator on? No, Marvin, nobody's that rich. Oh. No, but you know, I've got lots of overtime. Very soon, even the bags under my eyes will be Louis Vuitton. Ooh. Yes, you see this dress? Giorgio Armani. See this? George Asda. Oh. This is the very best silk from India. Uh, this is the very best gravy. Last night's KFC. <laughs> these are Gucci. Uh, these are itchy. Prada. Uh, Primark. Versace. Uh, there's a Veruca on this one. <laughs> Dolce Gabbana. <laughs> Toilet duck. Uh, uh. He never had any taste, just like his father. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I'll have you know, I had 20 blissful years. And then it all went downhill. Why? What happened? Then I met him and got married. Oh. <laughs> never mind. But, Marvin, we've got a very important job. I need to trust you, my one-month-old baby, with sending out all the invitations for Princess Rose's christening. You want to trust me, your one-month-old baby, with sending all the invitations out for Prin Princess Rose's christening, That's which what? may or may not impact the plot. Yes, I'm glad you remembered. That's what I need. Okay. And if you don't get it right, it could be disastrous. 
Oh, yes. Do you hear me? Disastrous. <laughs> Sorry, what? I said it could be disastrous. <laughs> ah, yes. So you've got to get it right, Marvin. Yep. Now, let's get going. I could be going via Tamworth Market. I do love myself a box of broken biscuits. Come See on. you later, friends. Come on. I want to get ahead, Marvin. <laughs> Nurse Nancy and Marvin set out to invite all those from around the kingdom, in particular the fairies who would bring beauty, luck and wisdom. As the christening approached, excitement grew. The kingdom couldn't wait to meet the beauty so new. Fairies flew from across the land to help make that special day that little bit more grand. Thank you all for gathering to witness the christening of our beautiful baby daughter, Princess Rose. It is a tradition in our kingdom that all royal babies are blessed by fairies throughout the land. Each one shall come today to bestow upon our daughter a very special gift. Now, I hope that one of those fairies brings her some beauty. A uh, beauty, my dear. Well, if she looks like you, there will be definitely no need for that. No, oh, it's just a precaution in case she takes after your family, dear. <clears throat> I would like to extend my thanks to the princess's nanny and her extremely large son. Not a problem, you majesticals. Hello, Jenny. Oh, here I am. Oh, you're getting into that, aren't you? Just seven more to go. Fairy Flora and the fairies of Staffordshire. Oh, my favourites. Your Highness, the Kingdom, let me lend you a hand, for I have brought fairies from across the land. My name is Fairy Flora, and it is my oath to, like Mother Nature, ensure little Rose's growth. Through sick and through thin, we will be by her side. We will always look after her. Of that, we abide. Ah, uh, oh. nice. Fairy Flora and Fairy Lights. What? <laughs> fairy Flora? Fairy Lights? These fairy names are ridiculous. What next? Fairy Liquid? <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, it is fair enough. No, no, that's the name of the third fairy. Fairy No. Stupid. Well, you two just stop it. Now, I believe the celebrations can start. Everyone is here. Hello? Yes, I believe so, ma'am. We're all here. Oh, no, they're not. What? <laughs> <laughs> Holding a party with that little old me, and I'm her uncle as well. <laughs> uncle! Uncle! You are nothing but an evil old man! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I, I thought we thought you were, you were invited nurse, Marvin. Well, we sent out all the invitations. Of course, there was a postal strike. Uh, we couldn't find your house. Couldn't get it in the letterbox. And then the goldfish ate it. Then the dog ate the goldfish. Oh, stop beating around the bush, you two. We didn't invite you because we didn't want you here. Ah, oh, Silence! <laughs> all of you. Do you think that I'd be so cruel? And unkind is not to bring a present for my niece, the heir to the throne. Well, I have an ancient curse. <laughs> I swear on my heart which is cruel and cold that Princess Rose she won't grow old this beautiful baby straight from her womb will one dark day meet her premature doom for on this day she turns 21. She'll prick her finger and all will come undone. And with one drop of blood, oh so red, she will gracefully drop down dead. Dead? Dead? dead. Isn't that a bit dark for pantomime? Death? It's, it's not too late to rewrite it. Maybe we could send her to, I don't know, Atherston. No, better to leave her to die. And that, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, 
is my parting gift. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> well, what are we going to do? We have to protect our daughter at all costs. The nurse, Marvin, please make sure that nothing pointy or sharp is left in the kingdom. Oh, yes, that's okay. That gives me a good excuse to get rid of him. He's always been a bit of a prick of a finger and she's dead. <gasps> Come on, Mum, let's get to it. I was going to say people person. I hereby banish anything pointy or sharp from my kingdom. Did you hear me? Yes. We must protect the princess at all cost. It will be illegal to possess anything sharp or pointy with effect of immediately. Go home, hug your loved ones and make your houses safe. And just like that, their world was turned upside down. For this curse now threatened their royal crown. The king and queen were scared for their daughter's life and losing her would bring the kingdom so much strife. The kingdom disposed of all needles and thread, so as not to bring the royal couple any more dread. Nurse Nancy and Marvin played their part in protecting a girl so close to their heart. Nurse Nancy treated Rose like one of her own, while for Marvin, a romance had already grown. They would grow up together, through thick and through thin. Together they'd beat the curse, and everyone would win. Of course, there were challenges, trouble and strife, but they learnt to butter bread without even a knife. So, let's travel 20 years to this day and see what our little Princess Rose has to say. That, take that, Princess Rose, and that, and that. Marvin, Princess Rose, what are you doing? Mum, we were just playing baguettes. Playing baguettes, we've got no time for that. We've got work to do. We'll be sent away to Misham. Stop it now. Oh. Bye, Princess Rose. See you later. Hello, boys and girls. 7 a.m. the usual morning lineup. Start on chores and sweep the floors all clean. Polish and wax the laundry and mop and shine up. Sweep again and by then it's like 7.15 or so. I'll read a book or maybe two or three. I'll add a few new paintings to my gallery. I'll play guitar and knit and cook and bake. Then the lint is puffed and darts and baking The paper mache, a bit of ballet and chess Pottery and ventriloquy candle making And then I'll stretch, maybe sketch, take a climb, sew a dress And I'll reread the book if I have time to spare I'll paint the wall some more, I'm sure there's room somewhere Then I'll brush and brush and brush and brush my hair Stuck in the same place I've always been And I'll keep wondering, wondering, wondering And wondering when will my life begin Tomorrow night I turn 21 Does this mean my life? has already begun What is it like out there where they go Now that I'm older Mother might just let me go Oh, Princess Rose! Oh, look at you. So beautiful and I'm so proud. 21 tomorrow. I can't quite believe it. Mother, father. Yes, yes dear. dear. Now that I'm 21. Nearly 21. Now that I'm nearly 21. Do you think I could venture out the palace walls? Just this once. I'll take Marvin with me. I suppose you'd better ask your father. Uh, yes, best ask his advice, yes. You are her father. Um, um, uh, yes, I, su I suppose so, dear. If you, if you go with Marvin, that should be okay. If she goes with Marvin, that would be okay. 
Have you forgotten about the curse? We've made it 20 years. We've just got to do one more. It is not okay. She can't go. And then, uh, yes, dear, it's, it's probably best that you stay inside. You know, you're, you're nearly 21. I can nearly hear those bells are chiming. Is there somebody at the door, sir? No, he's not talking about the doorbell. He's talking about wedding bells. Princess Rose, at the age of 21, it is really time for a princess to start thinking about getting married. Now, we found you some handsome princes, and I do believe one is coming to visit you today. Oh, but Mother, why do I have to marry? I've never ventured out the palace walls. And then we we're only thinking about what's best for you, dear. Yes. There we go. That's the knock at the door. I do believe that could be your prince. And, and just think, your prince, he could be, he could be handsome. He could be rich. He could have servants to do his bidding. And they would definitely take care of you. Or he could be called Prince Michael. Or it might even be Prince Charming from Sutton Coalfield. Or it could be... Marvin! No, not Marvin! Honestly, Rose, I know that he's your best friend, but honestly, that boy is a bit of an idiot. And you know, sometimes when I think about Marvin, it makes me feel quite sick. And now you've got me thinking about him, and I think I'm going to be sick of my mouth, Donna. What? No, it's just thinking about the... <laughs> oh! Marvin! Your Majesty. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. Uh, Marvin, we were just selling the dream to Rose, how a prince would come and whisk her off her feet. Hey, it doesn't need to be a prince, you know. It could be someone that, I don't know, knows her really, really well. No, it has to be a prince because you don't have the qualifications. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Well, test me then. Fine. <laughs> Marvin. Birthday. 4th of March. Year. Every year. <laughs> Specialist subject. Uh, utensils to mash potato with. What is it called when two footballers kick a ball to each other? Oh, pass. Correct. <laughs> What's the space between two mountains called? Oh, pass. Correct. Correct. What is the term for answering a test correctly? Oh, Pass. Correct. Correct. Where are the Andes? On the end of the Ristes. What ended in 1945? 1944. What's in ancient Greece? Ancient chips. <laughs> How do you make a Venetian blind? Poke him in the eyes, come on! Look, he's more of an idiot than he looks. At least I look. Oh, you're giving me a headache, Marvin. Oh. Uh, listen, dear, me and your mother need to go and prepare for the big day. It's going to be so exciting. You, you will have a lovely time at your birthday, Rose. Now, you two, especially you, behave. Mm -hmm. Prince is coming, the prince is coming, the prince is coming. Yes, he is. Oh, Marvin, what are we going to do? Oh, don't worry about that. I'm used to it. Hey, Princess, I came to ask you a question. What was it? That's it. Hey, Princess, I've been wondering, what's the shape of a kiss? Oh, I don't know. What is the shape of a kiss? Well, why don't you give me one and we'll call it square? <laughs> Marvin, you do make me laugh. Oh. Um, have you ever had a girlfriend? Yeah, loads. Well, you've never told me about her. You've never asked about her. Well, go on, tell me. Oh, it's a bit embarrassing. You oh, don't want to know. Go on. Well, you see, Princess, it all started on a... Friday night and the lights are low. Looking up for a place to go. We went to... And there, I saw her. Oh, mysterious girl, I wanna get close to you. And I found out her name was Lola. She was a showgirl. Oh, boys and girls, she had everything I like. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. <laughs> so, I went up to her. <clears throat> Hello. She didn't respond. <clears throat> Hello. Can you hear me? So, I thought I'd introduce myself. Hi, my name is Mark. My name is Mark. My name is Marvin. It wasn't working. I had to turn on my ultra ego. She called me Mr. Bombastic. Send me fantastic. Watch me on my box. She says I'm Mr. Rule. Now, 
I'm not saying it works, but... A weird choice of chapstick, but I didn't mind. I had a bit to drink. He drinks a whiskey drink, he drinks a vodka drink, he drinks a lager drink, he drinks a cider drink. But we started to get quite hungry. We looked everywhere to eat. We chose an Indian. We went to a deli divan, I heard. Oh, on a Friday night, they did an all-you-can-eat takeaway. Oh, I was so excited at the thought of eating curry. All night long, all night, all night long, all night, all night. But she didn't know her basmati from her biryani. She wanted someone to show her around the Indian men menu. I looked at her and told her, baby. She kept it nice and simple. She chose a chicken tikka. <laughs> We're there. Meanwhile, I had a <laughs> But before I could even break a poppadom, she wanted to leave. What about all this all you can eat curry? All I could think was. We could have had it <laughs> But Silver lining, I think I was about to get lucky after all. It's about damn time. In a minute, I'ma need a sentimental man or woman to pump me up. So, I put all of the curry into a takeaway box and you can call me a delivery driver because... It's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming I wrote that in August. We went up to her bedroom. She looked at me and she said, It's getting hot in here, so, hot. so take off all your clothes. I just told her to just have a little patience. Now, she thought I was embarrassed about something. Really, it's because I'm a man with R-E-S-B-C-T. But before I could go any further, I could feel it in my tummy. But it's all coming back to me now I made a beeline to the toilet say was wasn't me <laughs> but then <laughs> now she told me not to be ashamed of my bowel movements that it's normal for people when they're in love to show things in front of each other I looked her in the eyes and I said So good at that now, Jenny. Fabulous. Ah, Princess, where's Marvin gone? Nurse Nancy, he was just telling me about his girlfriend. Oh, that, this way. that must have been a short conversation. Hello from the other side. We went there as a team. You weren't expecting that, thought it was over. There we were. Ah. Marvin, there's a long build up for that. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. You are not trying to chat up the Princess Rose again, are you? Oh, but Mum, I just wanted to take her out on a date. A date? A date? We've got no time for that. There's a handsome prince at the door waiting for her. 
Yes, I wish a handsome prince would whisk me off my feet. <laughs> yeah, he'd probably need a forklift, but... <laughs> That's rude. No, no, no. No, no, no. You forgot your line, haven't you? <laughs> it can't possibly be my line. <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> There's just a vacant expression to all the makeup. <laughs> Is it no, really? no, 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 no. Is it really my life? It is. <laughs> Whisper it. <laughs> Whisper me, you old. <laughs> what? It's not, is it? <laughs> Do you think they notice? I don't think they notice. Ah, good. Did I ever tell you about my ex-husband? He always said I wore my eyebrows on too high. Yeah, she looked surprised. <laughs> it wasn't worth it, was it? I knew I'd forgotten it. Stand by. <laughs> Prince Philip the First of Faisley. It's an honour to meet you. <laughs> Prince Philip the First of Faisley. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. Oh. My father, King Kevin the Courage of Ketterbrook, sent me here to find a bride. Oh, my having Prince Philip the First of Faisley, son of King Kevin the Courageous of Ketterbrook. Who? Prince Philip I of Faisley, son of King Kevin, the courageous of Ketterbrook. Sorry, you will be if you ask me to say it again. I've travelled far and wide in search of a beauty. A beauty? Well, here I am. Come at me. Come on, princey baby. Give me a snog. Oh, <laughs> this is just wrong. I'm here in search of Princess Rose. I've been told she has beauty both inside and out. Sorry, mate, she's not here. Marvin! She is here. Marvin, move aside. Let the lovebirds get to it. Come on. We've got better things to do. Come on. Meet up. Yeah. I didn't want to spend the day with you, Princess Rose. It's all right. I'll just... Aww. I've got stuff to be doing anyway. I probably need to feed my new pet. You... Your new pet? Yeah, I bought a chameleon the other day, but he doesn't really change colour. He's a bit rubbish. He's probably got reptile dysfunction. <laughs> Bye, Princess. See you later. Well, I... Well, I better be going as well. I've got things to do and... Uh, the eyes are up here. Stop staring at my badger. Never mind. I've got to go and have a date with my old limbo dancing team. We go way back. <laughs> bye bye, Prince. Shall we go for a walk? Lead the way. Princess, it's no wonder they call you Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I've never met a real prince before. Let alone one so kind. Rose, have you ever been in love? Love? That's a strong word. I'm just afraid of making, making myself, myself look stupid. I've never seen anything as beautiful as you before. I've never felt this way before. Something just feels right. I know I stand in line and do you think you have the time to spend an evening with me? If we go someplace to dance, I know that there's a chance you won't be leaving with me. And afterwards we drop into a quiet little place and have a drink or two. And then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love you. I can see it in your eyes. You you despise the same old lies you heard the night before And though it's just the line to you For me it's true I've never seen so right before I practice every day to find some clever lines To say to make the meaning come true and I think I'll wait until the evening gets late and I'm alone with you. The time is right, your perfume fills my head, the stars get red and all the nights are blue. And then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love you. Your 
and girls, I'm in disguise. Can you tell? Yes. Shut up. It's been 21 years. 21 long years ago, I was annoyed. 21 years ago, I was hurt. 21 long years. Shut up. How many years? Good, you've not drifted off then. It seems my brother has only gone and destroyed all the sharp objects in the kingdom, yes. But I have a plan. I'm going to smuggle a spinning wheel into the palace where the Princess Rose will hurt herself. <laughs> and then the throne will be mine. All it takes is one prick. <sighs> Hi, boys and girls! <gasps> oh! I recognise you. Is this who I think it is, boys and girls? Did he? Are you the milkman? Yeah. No, I'm not the milkman. And shut up, you. Stop poisoning your ice cream. No, yeah, I'm not the milkman. Oh, I know who it is. Is this Princess Rose's evil uncle? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah. Oh, yes, I am. Yeah. I knew it, you're all thick. No, I'm here for Princess Rose's birthday. I bought her a beautiful present. Oh, boys and girls, I forgot all about Princess Rose's birthday. I haven't got her a present. I've been so distracted by the prince. Don't distress. I have an idea. Maybe you would like to give Princess Rose my present. I think, boys and girls, it would be better coming from Marvin, don't you think? <laughs> Oh, I think it would. Yeah. Well, I tell you what. Why don't I have a look at it first and then we'll make a decision, yeah? yeah? Right then. It's over there. Oh, yeah, I can see it. My plan is coming together, boys and girls. Yes, how exciting. <laughs> what is it? It's a... Spinning wheel. Look, it spins. Wow. Yes, sort of. <gasps> oh my word! Princess Rose always goes on about the spinning classes at Snowdome. Yeah, we're not Love that it. kind of spinning, you dimwit. Well, it's better than anything I've got her, so, boys and girls, I think I'm gonna have to take it this time. Thank you ever so much, weird old man. Weird old man, how hurt. She's gonna love it. So my plan is coming together, boys and girls. She'll be just dying to see that present, won't she? I can see it now. One prick and she's gone. She'll be dead. Dying. Dying to see the fjords. She'd have kicked the bucket. She'd be pushing up daisies out of a dirty. Au revoir when I'll go to Stoke. <laughs> I'll be back! <laughs> oh, 
the whole kingdom decorated the castle's great hall, and they were all invited to Princess Rose's birthday ball. We're in for a treat, just you wait and see, and there was even an invite for little old me. Oh, Fairy Flora, I'm so pleased that you could make it. Welcome one and all to my daughter's birthday ball. <laughs> now, I can't quite believe that she's 21 years old today. Do you know, I remember my 21st birthday party like it was yesterday. We had a Krispy Kreme donut themed one. It was fantastic, donuts everywhere. Did somebody say donuts? <laughs> Hello, Jenny. Oh, here I am. Oh, here she is. Fabulous, sorry I'm late, I was at Home Bargains. Oh. oh, there you are, darling. Happy birthday. 21 years old today. And no longer a child. Oh. Nurse, I bet it only seems like yesterday that Marvin was stumbling around, struggling to walk and dribbling down his chin. Yes, it does only seem like yesterday Marvin was stumbling around, struggling to walk, dribbling down his chin. He was coming out the penny black. <laughs> it's true, did you see him? Well, I think, Fairy Flora, it is time to start your blessing. As a fairy, I stick to all things true, so I have nothing but a simple gift for you. As fairies have been there for 21 years to ensure no crying, no tantrum, and no tears. All I can promise is that we'll continue to do the same. So I'm sorry if this present, though sentimental, is a bit lame. Yes, it's very lame indeed. You could have got something off Amazon Prime, just like me. Oh, boys and girls, I'm so excited for a party. I've even put on my Star Trek underwear. Can you believe that? My Star Trek underwear, where no man has been before. <laughs> it's true. Ah, excellent, the gift has arrived. Princess, you can open it now if you want. Oh, Nurse Nancy, you shouldn't have. Oh, a fake leg? It's just a stocking filler. <laughs> what do you mean, oh? The best joke in the panto. Prince Philip the First of Faisley, I am so pleased that you are here. I'd be mad to miss it. I would miss your birthday for the world, Rose. It's so lovely of you to join us. Uh, Prince Philip, have you or your father, you know, uh, sent a gift? Yes, it's a. Uh, it's right here. <gasps> oh, oh, a tiara. It's beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, my princess. It's amazing that, isn't it? You can't half buy some nice things in the Argos catalogue. <laughs> Can you imagine, boys and girls, being gifted a tiara and then the next person's got to come in with their own gift? If I was following that with a gift of my own, I would turn around and go back. I'd go back to the home I came from in Bone Hill. I wouldn't want to be here. There's no way you'd catch me following that tiara with a gift on my own. I wouldn't want to do it. Absolutely no. Turn around, leave the pantomime. Oh, oh, hi Marvin. I'm glad you love it, because I love you. Oh, boys and girls! What am I going to do all my life? I've been in love with the princess and now she's fell in love with a prince and a tiara. I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed I'm going to run away from the palace. You'll never see me again. Goodbye, boys and girls. <laughs> Tell my mum and Princess Rose I loved her. <laughs> well, that was a bit dramatic, wasn't it? Where's Marvin going? Uh, I wouldn't worry about him. He tried couch to 5K, but it turned into couch to fridge. <laughs> He'll be back in act two. Now, Prince Philip, that is a beautiful gift, but I hope you don't mind me saying, I was hoping that perhaps you'd be bringing Rose a wedding ring. Well, call me crazy. Does that make him crazy? Yes, Nancy, behave yourself. This is a moment. A moment. Princess Rose, what? will you marry me? Yes, yes, a thousand yeses. Oh, nice, a wedding proposal in act one. Suspicious, but nice. But remember, no kissing until the ceremony. Ah, yes, a very important plot point to remember. Oh, I can't quite believe it. A wedding, look at you two. Now, we've got so much to prepare for. Nurse Nancy, I can't possibly wear this to my daughter's wedding. No. I'd like a more elaborate dress. Elaborate? I've got just the thing. I'll take you for a private visit to my friend Matt. Matt? Matt Alan. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Then sure a pack. I better sure go and tell Marvin. Sure Why don't you stay here and I'll go and tell him. I'll be right back. Okay. Then See you sure later. Then sure a pack. Sure a pack. Oh, 
Well, it's not just lovely boys and girls. Oh! And one more present. Oh! Who is it from? Two Rose Love Marvin. Oh, isn't that the sweetest? What's that? Sorry? I can't hear you. Touch it. Princess? Rose? Quick! Someone help! She's not responding! What's happened to my daughter? Princess! Oh no! I really don't appreciate when you go Ah! Hello, Jenny! Oh, here I am! What's happened? Like he said this. It must be Carabos! He's finally done it! I forgot to tell Mum to record the next series of traits at... Princess Rose, you... what's happened? She must have pricked herself on that spinning wheel! Who would have brought such a thing into my kingdom? I'll have a look. Hark, a note. I'll read it. Two rows, love... Marvin? Marvin! Who? This is all your fault! I, I should have you hung, drawn, and quartered. Quartered? You could cut him into eights. <laughs> what are we going to do? We need a fairy! We need one of the fairies! <laughs> Fear not, for I will break some fairy rules for a friend, and here I will this curse amend. Instead of watching our princess die, for a hundred years here she will lie, in a deep and comfortable sleep, where she will not make a peep. One hundred years, but, I, but I'll never see my daughter again! Here's the bit that you won't want to miss. In a hundred years, she can only wait for true love's kiss. I can extend the spell to everyone who can hear my voice, and put them to sleep too, but they have the choice. In a hundred years, the kingdom will awake, and we'll all be free of this horrible mistake. A hundred years?! Well, surely Carabos will be gone in a hundred years. Unfortunately, that's not quite true. I've got some bad news for you. Carabos will hear of this and cast a spell, and if he does that, it will not end well. But what if he tries to hurt Rose? If we're all asleep with her, anything could happen. I won't let it. What? I'll stay awake. It's my fault. I brought this into the palace. I'll, I'll stay awake. You, you, you'll stay awake for a hundred years? You couldn't even stay awake during Prince Harry's interview. No. I'll stay awake with you. We'll both stand guard for 100 years. I promise I'll tell Princess Rose about your bravery. Very well. Fairy Flora, start your spell.
magic help put the kingdom to sleep, where they will rest and dream and not make a peep. Nurse Nancy and Marvin will stay awake, for they know the danger of what is at stake. The entire kingdom for 100 years will now be at rest, as they have all chosen right, and they have done what's best. birthday was marred. The entire kingdom has said goodbye. But whilst it was sad, they didn't cry. For they know how my magic goes. And in 100 years, they'd all awake with Princess Rose. But as for what lies in store for you, we'll see you shortly for Act Two. When your heart stares like a drum Beating louder with nowhere to go When it all seems like a slow Sing along the outdoor Until the feeling we just getting started And the lights get cold 